start with this, that bit's going to be quite good. Howdy, it's Matt. We're here chatting Nano Talent. So come and over. It's um, <coughs> going to be a good flight. So I've got specs that's plugged straight into there. Yeah, I saw that and you go straight in there, doesn't it? Yeah, as long as you've binded that first. Yeah. In fact, you can add that button there. If you hold it down while you plug the um, ESC in, it actually goes into bind mode. Uh, so that's cool to know. And obviously, if it's, if it's running, just press it. Reboot. Oh, I've been it? looking for that. <laughs> <laughs> I lost that last night. Yeah. Every pilot needs one. To yeah. Get himself out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seat belt. <laughs> yeah, it all just clunks together, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I even brought mine in the, poly the polystyrene. Yeah, and that's it. Just a little magnet. Mm -hmm. And Andrew's been laminated his as well. Is that the fun of you can get uh, thinner stuff. <coughs> did, you, did you work out that that's black EPP foam and that's EPO? Not into my foams. What yeah. works and what doesn't. <laughs> yeah. That's black. That's, that's white. white. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's quite good they've got, they've actually glued in that. It's a really so interesting moment. the flexible flexitivity of the EPP. Yeah. But you get the sort of kind of the smoothness of the... Yeah, EPO. and it's lighter. Yeah. EPO is lighter than EPP, but EP, EPP is tougher than EPO. Yeah. So when that dents, you have to put some heat in it, and that stuff just kind of like rips. Yeah. Double laminated on the front. Yeah, I've not done that. I've just put sellotape on well, mine. I think when I hit Matt's prop, it's going to be on. He's going to need it. <laughs> What's this bit on the top? Is that for an FPV camera? Yeah, HD, HD, HD camera? yeah, I don't, we don't quite know, to be fair, no instructions, but... Oh, so that's actually part of it? Yeah, that little bridge comes with it. Yeah, yeah four screws and... Just to get the camera pointing down, isn't it? 526 five, five, is it underneath? Underneath that airflow. So you've got a little duct underneath there. Mm -hmm. So we'll get a bit of airflow. Is that a five, 600 jobby, is it? No, it's a 25 watt. Oh. Everything's right. 25. It's like that model weighs 249 grams with the battery. With the battery. It gets lighter yeah. when you put the battery in it. There's more um, anti gravity electrons in it. Ah, that was it. it. Yeah. yeah. And when we when we do the the national way and we have to attach the helium balloon, yeah, because <laughs> we always fly it with a helium balloon. Yeah, we do. Well, I need to. I'm getting a pattern, some sort of like helium. Yeah, <laughs> when you suddenly yeah. inject foam with helium, just to make it lighter. Yeah. <laughs> that, take the battery out. Take the off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get some maidens done. Now I've got to be wary of this camera because. Is I'm using a different baseball cap today, so if we get a really crap picture, I do apologise. I wouldn't say no to you, Dave. Oh, oh I, I was going to put you in the head, but yeah, I can do that. Oh, yeah, I'll stick on the head. I'm just going to just eyeball it first. needs to generally be pointing up. I don't know if I've got a free production mm -hmm. wing, but I've only got one for the G mark. Yeah, that's, that's, going that's all I've got on mine as well. It? Yeah, it's Austin pointing up like that. Yeah. yeah. Austin one's got two. Has he got two? I've only got one on mine, I was just checking it then. Yeah, I've only got one on mine, and he's got yeah. two on his. Yeah. Uh, we always said Austin was special. One, one what? CG mark. Oh. Yeah, apparently it was included in the box. They've even marked it. So mine's a little touch of nose heavy. All right, quick run, quick run out of mine. In there, I've got a hub OSD board. Because it was so quick to build, I felt a bit guilty. So I, had, I have actually been in line this up with a hub OSD board so I can see the voltage, the current, and the flight time on it. Uh, little video transmitter on the top. Uh, the label's actually wrong on that one. It's only 25. Uh, and uh, a little run cam swift down in the nose, which I hope is coming out for you. Oh, and uh, the ESC as well. It will take 4S. Um, that was pretty uh, happy days. And excuse our mate Dave. Yeah, really straightforward. So my little receivers down in the uh, in the undercarriage. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a little tray down here and I've got the receiver just poking out the bottom. Bit of tape on the bottom, a bit of tape on the leading edge. And jobs are good in. Is this where we find out we're both on the same channel? Right. Oops. Pop that in. I do like that little twisty doodah. That does come out quite well. Right, I'm definitely nose heavy on mine. So right, left, hang on. right, left, up, down. Launch mode. Engines on. Yeah. So when you stick it in launch mode, see the elevators just gone up at the back? 
and it's got stabilisation as well. Oh, um, fucked up. Have you not heard that? Hang on. I'll put... Yeah, I've listened to this. Launch mode. So launch mode. Situation normal. All fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm in two minds when I'm going to launch it with, uh... Yeah, look, face out, look, nose. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm going to chuck it. I'll tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to make sure... The transmitter's on. I'm going to press record on it as well. I'm on channel one. What are you on? Six. Cool, Dave will love you. <laughs> right. This is where we got a throat at the hedge, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. You ready? <laughs> and what's out the uh, brake yet? Let me just sort that out. There's no weight in these things at all, is there? They're super light. Yeah, but they're manufacturing it to be 249 grams without the battery and the kit. <gasps> Was that you just turned the plastic screen? Oh, you. <sighs> just, yeah, just eased it off gently. So, hi, I, I'm Matt, and Dave loves men. Uh, he was just telling us a few moments ago, uh, and we're maiden of the Nano Talents. Uh, Andrew's got one as well. It's a lovely, calm day here in the United Kingdom of uh, sunniness. It's a beautiful day out here. It's trying to rain. It's a bit windy and we've got plenty of crop to land in. Brilliant. Yeah, I didn't actually put a lost model alarm in it, so I might keep away from that side. Chop, chop. I didn't press record on the uh, doodah. Or did I? No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, well, I've gone with the um, only a 1300 pack as well, just in case we do. You got 15. Yeah, I've just gone for a lighter pack, just in case we land it and there's less weight in the nose, isn't it? Right, double maiden. Mine's the white and black one, which looks like a penguin. You'll see mine. I'm not going to launch it with it. Yeah, it's straight manual. Yeah, I was going to walk over this way, so we... <laughs> Dave's got the curse. <laughs> yeah, just throw it at Dave, it'll be alright. <laughs> I know. Alright, <laughs> you ready? <laughs> Go on, then. <laughs> <You're... laughs> Well, that was a bit, uh... This, this would be more eventful. Yeah. <laughs> it's flying all right. The diegel is definitely helping with the wind. Yeah, as soon as you let go, it's... It It's got a lot of pace on it for what is it? What's it? 10 amps? 10.3 amps on the ground? I'm going to go and try stabilise mode now. Stabilisation on. Still need a bit of up trim in mine, I think. That's me. Make... Yeah. Even does rolls in uh, stabilised as well. That's quite nice and stabilised. <laughs> I 
situation normal. All fucked up. Yeah, it's definitely taken the edge off. Because I've just gone back to uh, no... Uh, what should we call it? No stabilisation. And it's fine. Uh, sorry, getting knocked around. Yeah, look at that. Your FPV and yours as well. <laughs> yes, definitely take the edge off the stabiliser, isn't it? Can we knock him out of the sky? <laughs> <laughs> Just fly at him. Should have put my settings on. Well, I want to go on FPV mine now. Go See on. if I can bring it in for. <laughs> go home now. There you go, bring it in for a nice little slow pass. You can see that stabiliser really kicking in. Because it's less than ideal out here today, isn't it? As Dave would say, it's a bit choppy. Head on, come on. Whoa, so close. Yeah, so far. There's someone almost stuff it. It's got some pace to it. This is full knacker. It needs more. It needs four S. That's what it needs. <laughs> and a brain switch to bring you home again. Let's see what the glide's like over our heads. Glide's lovely on it. Again, the stabilizer will be helping with that. <laughs> Just as you turn the video off, we both stuff them. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying. So now I predict you're, you're both going to crash now as I turn the camera off. All right, mine's still rolling. Oh, birdie! <laughs> it do vertical. Quite a bit of it. And get into glide. Yeah, do vertical quite well. Mm. Glide's nice on it. Yeah. Yeah, it needs the brake putting on the ESC because it's just dragging its ass when you uh, take the power off. Mine looks gliding in. Have either of you got a battery alarm? No. You don't need one of them for. I can see it, it'll be fine. <laughs> Thanks, lads. <laughs> trying to get a, so you've got to get a feel for the plane to know what it's well, what it's doing before you. I, I've I've just been flying around the stabiliser. <laughs> it's really nice. Okay. Right. So back into <laughs> all natural. <laughs> Going commando. Going commando. <laughs> So it's pretty stable without the stabilizers to be honest. It's getting knocked around. Yeah, I but it, it's, I think it's oh. smoother. It's not trying to correct itself so quickly. Yeah, saying that I've just got knocked around the buggery. And I've just stuck what well, is oh shit, I've just flown behind a fucking tree. Sorry. Oh there we go. That tree of doom's got bigger. It's started growing in bloody leaves. It's a nice slow pass. It's not really slow pass. Well, slower pass. I'll try a sl a slow pass into wind will be easier. Yeah. Trying to. Yeah. Hey, 
Yeah, it needs four S. It's just. Did you get yours to go vertical? Yeah. Did you have a run up at it though? Yeah. So that's stabilising, it really is taking the edge off it. I didn't really think you need launch mode because it took off fine, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Still want iron to have in mind, so I got returned to home. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right, I'm going to land mine now. Right. Try and land in Andrew's lap. Right, land him. Land it. So I hope that came out right. Apologies, different baseball cat today, and it is windy here as well. But uh, it was quite enjoyable. Just lobs and it flew. Now I did launch it in non-stabilised mode uh, because, and again, let's just get this down here so we're not interfering with Andrew. Use FPV in. The battery's not even warm. Uh, let's take this look hood up. Let's have a quick look. The ESC is warm, but it's not burning my fingers or anything, so that's all right. I would be a bit worried on forest, to be honest, and here we come. In the next field. In the, oh, could have been in the hedge. You missed it. <laughs> yeah, the glide's really good on it. Yeah. Right, anyway, what was I doing? Uh, ESC, not particularly hot. Uh, and... Uh, Quickly check the motor. Mm, warm, very, very, very lukewarm. That was cool. I'm gonna FPV that day. That was a uh, quite enjoyable. Andrew, what's your thoughts? For a little plane, I reckon nine out of ten. Just straight out the box. It was just plug, plug and play. And plug it is as easy as that. <laughs> yeah. I de I'm definitely going to laminate mine after seeing you what you've done with yours. Yeah, so I think it's going to make it a bit more durable for trees. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's just like pack, pack, chuck and go, isn't it? Yeah, it was really easy transporting it today because I took the wings off mine and stuck it in the plastic bag which it came in. <laughs> and it worked fine. Yeah. Kept it clean and... Yeah. Definitely were you flying in stabilised or were you... Oh, a mixture of both. Stabilised just seems to be a little bit, it seems to sort of... Wiggle a little bit more. I'll find out in a moment when we look at the well, um, when I chuck it for some FPV. Yeah, it definitely needs a bit of expo on the, in the um, elevator. As soon as yeah. you just flared it and it went up three foot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was about here and then just, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> carried on going. Yeah. No, I'm liking that. Cool. Well, I want to go in FPV, my name. That was well cool. Bring your wing wing out, Dave. No. Oh, is it made on the clock? Jobby, so. Have a maiden? Yeah. Get the cameras out. Yes. Oh, yeah, because that one never sinks me. It'll be fine, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I haven't got you got the thingy battery tester there. Blumin lost mine. I've ordered another one now. Ten dollars, absolute bargain. Yeah, and by the way, that's all I was running, a little 1.33S in there. 60%. I don't know how long the flight time what we were flying for, but... Uh, yeah, 56%. I hope that comes out on the camera for you. 56%. So we weren't even straining it, were we? I've got 2 minutes 29 on there, so we are running for about 3 minutes, I think we were. Yeah. Thank you. Let's get the... Uh, Oh, that's got some rah-rah. Yeah. Yeah, it's alright, it's only optional. Which one's this one, Dave? This is the Flying Wings Genesis. Aha. Uh -huh. So what wingspan's that? It's over a metre, isn't it? One point, 
It's 46 inches, whatever that is in metric. What about a metre? 1.2. Well, 40 inches is a, is a metre, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. Um, Would you like a lob? Did you want, should we ask Andrew yeah, if he can do your GoPro? Yeah. As well? I won't say no to a lob, if I'm honest. What's this bit here? Is that like so you can use it that's like a my, DLG? That's my antenna. Oh. Yes, no. I was going to wrap my fingers right now and go, hey, off we go. That's all you're doing there. <laughs> no, I've got it uh, one horizontal, one vertical, and an L shape, you see. Ah, I just, I do that same but down flat. Linear Polaroid. Flat? Yeah, so one going that way, and then one going that way inside the foam. Yeah, but the idea is that it's like same as the perpendicular plane, yeah. as your antenna. So flat, other than both flat, didn't really help. <laughs> that explained why I stuffed it in the well, tree a couple of weeks back. Doing knife edges, you're fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're bouncing between trees like that. All right. Let me have a quick surface check, though. Yeah. Lefty, right, right. right. Lefty. Right. Left. <laughs> up. up. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's on minimum rates at the moment. Yeah. Let's have a look from that side. That looks like a bit yeah. too much up, especially well, on that side. I'm not sure. Well, that seems to have changed. Well, we'll give it a lob anyway. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Just eating the camera. <laughs> All right, you ready, Dave? No. Why, why am I throwing it that way? I should really throw it into wind. Yeah. I'll run this way. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just throw it at Andrew. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Too much up? Too much up. I don't know how much throttle you used then, but it it just wanted to go. About 80%, I Beautiful, straight in the tree. You missed it. Yeah. Well. Bit of expo needed? Yeah. What's it like when you jam the power on? Does it duck or dive? Hold on a second. Uh, no. No. They got the, uh, the angles yeah. right. Yeah, I had the issue with the, um, what was it, the F3 shadow. The angle was wrong on it and uh, it would just balloon. Can try a roll? Got plenty of up. Yeah. And that was the 1350 uh, NTM? Yeah. It was only a small can as well. Here. What? Where? Plane. We're well. getting with a mini drac in a minute. That's going to be great, me and you chasing around. That one in the uh, right wing spec wing. It's going to be well cool. Because that's only going to be pulling a few amps as well, isn't it? Hopefully. Was it 7x4, 7x5? Yeah. 4S. But... 4S, and that's yeah, loads of flight time. And it's not getting chucked around. If you get those little nanny t nano talons we just uh, threw up, they were getting chucked around quite a lot. That because of the wing, bigger wing, Sorry. you're not <laughs> thinning it so much. Yeah, expo needed in that elevator. <laughs> hmm? And as Dave said, there you go. Keep an eye on the sticks down there. So he's flying on half throttle at the moment. So that's half throttle. That's going to be fine for cruising and smashing it around the trees. Well, it'll be easy for uh, following Craig, wouldn't it? The speedy flies, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not much stick movement you're putting. You're not putting a lot of stick movement in either, are no, you? I'm on like 30% rates, I think. Yeah. I need to see if I can move the um, control. Yeah. What's the glide like on it? Not epic, but well, not I need the bad. Brake, probably, so. Yeah, the brake doesn't help. Uh, I'm not having the brake set. 
and out. Not tried dropping a wing on you either, has it? No. That's quite graceful. You're going to try Matt's test, which is a bunt. Bring it up and then just ram the sticks down. Uh, right stick forwards. What? <laughs> what do you want me to do? Just do a reverse roll. Rated, but than going up, reverse down. loop, sorry. What's the okay. roll? Like that, you mean? Yeah, but it's from, from up to down. Up to down. Because it. That's what I discovered with the. So what? Do want, you want me to just do a dive now? Yeah, just do a dive and follow it all the way through. You end up being upside down. Yeah. That's it. Perfect. Beautiful. Yeah, that's it. Lovely. Yeah, reverse loop. Because it'll show you if it's got any bad habits. Because I did it with the spec wing, it just dropped its wing every single time. Do with the CD being a bit further forward because that might make the elevator a little bit less mm. happy. Someone's left their transmitter on. That'd be me. Oh, that's nice and slow. And it, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Final thoughts then, Dave? Uh, very nice. Um, the motor's pretty good. It's not got like a huge top speed, but then kind of. Chilling out with those trees down the bottom of there, you don't, you're after a flight time to yeah. enjoy them more. Sounds like you've got some Corona servos in there. Yeah. Yeah. Nine, three nines? Servos? Yeah, the ones you said you had in the shower. Yeah, yeah 2.7 kilograms of thrust. Oh, uh... okay. Will we create a YouTube paradox if we do this? <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> right. <laughs>